one of the final steps <clears throat> of this project is to integrate the program that prints the message and the image into the command line interpreter. After some research, I found out how to do that on Windows. Uh, first, you have to run the registry editor. There is a key uh, where one can indicate which program will be executed automatically every time somebody starts cmd.exe. And that key is uh, in the local machine branch software Microsoft command processor. And there's a variable which is called auto run, the value of which is uh, a path to whatever has to be executed when, uh, when you start CMD. So in my case, it is set to this command, Python and the path to a Python script, which happens to be the one that uh, I developed previously, but I am now going to change it to the one we have created together. So it's in win fortune and uh, the name is when fortune.py. As soon as I save it, I can refresh. Yeah, I can see that my value is there. Now let's give it a try. We have a problem. No such table quotes in storage pi 32nd line. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, it attempts to execute this query. Okay, wait a second, we didn't give it the path quote storage. Let's see when fortune. Mm -hmm. We do give a path, but the file is named simply quotes.db. Uh, the problem is that up to this point, when we were testing it, uh, the current directory was D Dropbox Win Fortune, so everything was in there. In there, but as we run it from here automatically, my best guess is that the uh, directory is probably set to something else, perhaps the System Thirty Two folder in Windows. So one of the things we have to do prior to any other manipulations is to set uh, the current directory to something else. And uh, we can do that with uh, OS chdir, which stands for change directory. And we have to pass the path to our folder in in this case it's uh, d dropbox win fortune so let's just do that okay done now let's i saved it let's run another instance of cmd name os is not defined uh-huh i have to import it Let's save again, run another instance of CMD. Okay, here we go. I think I should add a blank line here on top to make it a little bit prettier. It was here, backslash N. Okay, I saved it. Now let's run it again, CMD. Okay, this looks good. So, uh, the trick was in, in setting the current directory. Notice that uh, what I did here is I hard-coded the path, which is not a good thing to do. Uh, we will look for a way to obtain the path to the script dynamically and somehow uh, change this line. But until then, 
let's consider that this uh, objective has been achieved. Now, one of the last steps was to create uh, an installer using Wix, but that will take quite a long time. Uh, so we're going to do a more simple approach first. I will create a simple bat file and call it uh, install dot bat and here's what this bat file has to do it has to create a registry entry yeah uh, since um, the registry entry is in the local machine branch writing to it will take uh, administrative privileges so I'm going to write this instruction here it won't work otherwise um, to add something to the registry we can use a command from Windows it's called Tag. Okay, let's see how it works. Okay, we'll have to add. So tag, add. Okay, there are some examples. And uh, we're going to make this happen. So the command should be this one. Reg, add. HKLM stands for local machine. Then it was software. Microsoft command processor. All right. Since there are spaces in there, I think we should add quotes. Uh, what we need to add is a string, so we need SZ. Uh -huh. Okay, let's consult some examples. And the value will be, let's call it test. The type will be this one, taken from the documentation. And the data should be, let's say, just 111 first. Hmm. X is denied, yeah, because uh, we need admin rights. So I'm going to take this and copy it and uh, run another command line with admin rights. All right, now let's paste the same command again. Uh, there is a new line character in it, so I'm going to have to do it like this. Okay, let's try one more time. Operation completed successfully. Now let's go to the registry and see what happened. Refresh. Okay, so I have a new value called test, and it's um, it is set to one 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 one, which is good. Now I'm going to make some adjustments to the bed file. The one we need should be called auto run. And it should be set to Python. Then the current directory, followed by the name of our program, which is Win Fortune. Okay, I'm going to do this, which is WinFortune.py. And there was one more argument um, 
which will be handy slash f it stands for uh, force override if something is already out there so i'm just going to add slash f here and percent cd percent will be replaced with the uh, with a directory where we are at the moment so for example if i do this it types uh, d dropbox win fortune which is what we need so now i saved this file let's test it from here i have to right click and do run as admin uh, it did something i will add a pause here so that the window doesn't close now let's go here and remove it and remove this one because it's uh, not what we need right now i'm going to run it one more time and this should conclude uh, the test so i run it as admin operation completed successfully press any key to continue uh-huh but it replaced uh the current directory was uh, not where i started the file from it was uh it's c windows system 32 which is system root mm -hmm. okay so i guess this won't work as i thought we're just going to have to settle for for this one will have to change the bad file in order to set up the program and uh, we will fix this and make it work nicely when we create the wix installer it's going to be a more complex project but it will fix this issue we're dealing with right now and it's going to be a much much better installer okay so if i run this as admin operation completed successfully i see that the path is right it is paused to, to uh, let us um, see what happened i press any key to close that thing yep all goes as expected now one more final test yep here we go uh, this works and i think that at this point we can say that our primary objective was achieved and uh, what else we're just going to apply some more tweaks as soon as we are done with uh, creating the Wix installer. And that's it. I hope you've had uh, fun watching these uh, tutorials. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. So feel free to leave a comment. And uh, I'll see you at the next phase. Bye.